it had a lot to do with the size of the island. Madeira is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful island. Um, but if you're looking, if you, have, if you have an entrepreneurial spirit, if you're looking to go into business, the island is very small. It has a population of 275,000 people. Um, the capital only has 120,000 people. It's just too small for the kind of dreams that, that I had. Um, so the company transferred us across, so we transferred across to Portugal. I still got, was involved in some projects through the group at the time, um, which I then finished off and then I approached them and I said, listen, I'd like to go on my own. They still said to me, no, David, we'll give you better conditions. We'll, a, you have a great future with us. And my answer was, I don't work for anyone. For I like to do it on my own. And they said, and today I still have a very, very healthy relationship uh, with them, a wonderful, wonderful relationship, which has gone on for the last 10 years. Yeah. So that's the way that you got your start in business, so to speak, in Portugal? Yes, I strategically, when I was, whenever I thought about immigrating, this was always the plan to first work in that economy so that I could understand it. The, the biggest, the best advice that I can give to people when you are immigrating, when you are moving to another country, do not automatically assume that you can, to take a common term, copy-paste your business model from the country where you've come from into this new economy, into this new place. Um, the best that, the advice that was given to me and the advice that I would pass on to others is first, get to know the country which is what we allowed ourselves to do in these four years that we were, were effectively be employed. Gave us a sense of the market, gave us a sense of the culture, um, a sense of also what not to do. Not, um, so I found that, that many of the ideas that I had when I initially was in the process of moving to Portugal in terms of what would be my long-term plan and what sort of business I'd get involved in were quite different from where we ended up uh, uh, in terms of how our uh, company has grown in Portugal. Yeah.